You're listening to Spring River Chronicle. Audio on the go. First National Banking Company. Get checking that pays with Super Plus Checking at FNBC. Hatchet job foiled. A hardy man was arrested March 6 after an area resident discovered him allegedly trying to steal an air conditioning unit. By Lauren Siebert Lawrence Wally Gooden III, 37, of Hardy, was arrested March 6, after he was caught attempting to steal an air conditioner from a residence near Sycamore Park. The attempted theft was discovered by an area resident by chance, as they were driving down Nine Mile Ridge Road. Barry Lowe and his friend Devin Draper were heading to get a load of hay, when they heard a noise coming from a friend's home. We were headed by when we looked at the house, because it had been broken into a month ago, and belongs to a friend of ours, Lowe said. Devin heard a hissing sound coming from the house so we stopped, and backed up to check it out. After looking at the residence, Lowe explained they were able to identify the sound was coming from the air conditioner and it appeared that Freon was leaking from the hoses after being tampered with. As soon as we figured out what the sound was, I said I bet someone was trying to steal that AC no sooner had the words left my mouth, when Devin pointed behind the house and said there he goes, Lowe said. According to Lowe, Gooden had taken off through a field back toward the Spring River, so he and Draper drove to the bridge. Draper stayed at the bridge to watch and see if Gooden came down that way, at which point Draper called Hardy Police Chief Ernie Rose to inform him of the situation, while Lowe walked back to the house. Draper noted that there was a white truck waiting on the far side of the bridge that took off once he pulled up. While he Draper was guarding the bridge, I went back to the house and walked behind to see if he was still there, Lowe said. I walked through the field and ended up behind him, while he was low in the grass. Once Lowe had spotted the suspect, he told him to stay, where he was and drew his gun. Gooden turned around, pulling out his hatchet, which he had used to cut the lines of the air conditioner. When he drew the hatchet I almost shot him he said he was throwing it away but in that moment, it was too close for comfort. Lowe noted that just seconds after Gooden threw down the hatchet, Chief Rose walked up behind him and took control of the situation. Lowe lowered and holstered his weapon and Gooden was taken into custody. Gooden was taken into custody by Chief Rose and sent to the Fulton County Jail. Reportedly, once at the Fulton County Sheriff's Office, Detective Joe Boshiers of the Fulton County Sheriff's Department interviewed Gooden. Gooden stated that the driver of the white truck was Jerry Clements and was meant to be the getaway vehicle for Gooden. According to reports, Gooden told officers that Clements had called him and told him where a central heat and air unit was that they could take. Gooden also stated that Clements drove him to the residence and told him to have it ready to be picked up. Gooden explained that a guy had driven up on him while he was trying to steal the air conditioner and heard the air conditioner leaking from where he had cut the lines. Gooden stated he had run off so he wouldn't be caught and that the man drove up the road, turned around and came back to the residence. Gooden added on to note that the man walked over to where he was hiding and had a gun and had told him to freeze and that the cops had been called. Gooden stated that he and Clements were going to take the air conditioning unit to sell for scrap metal. According to an ACIC NCIC history of Gooden, he has been convicted of four or more prior felonies and can be charged as a habitual offender. Thanks for listening to Spring River Chronicle Audio on the Go. Be sure to subscribe to the paper and check us out online at myspringriver.com.